Hey everybody, it's Jeff, Aromatics, sitting outside, smoking my pipe, hanging out with my tobacco. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, I'm smoking some Peterson Irish Flake here. I figured I'd do a quick video just giving an update on uh, my tobacco grow that I'm doing this year. And maybe a uh, talk a little bit about the tobacco that I grew last year and how it turned out. Got some of it right here to show off. We'll do that at the end of the video. So okay, let's uh, get right into this and I'll just show you some of the stuff that I've got growing and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here we got some of my Corojo 99. Looking really good. It's probably about three times the size of the Virginia that they're growing out in the fields. Here in my area, it's tobacco country, so the fields are pretty much uh, full of tobacco and they're growing. So here's some of my Corojo 99. So we'll go to the other side of the house and we'll have a look at some of the other stuff I've got growing. Okay, so here are some of the other plants that I am growing. These ones are a little smaller because some of my tobacco, I planted too early and uh, there wasn't enough sunlight. So they got kind of stra strangly and just died. So I replanted some, so they're a couple weeks later than I wanted. But uh, this is what they look like. So they're really starting to catch up now. So I've got some, I think that one, the first one there is Black Mammoth. That one uh, is uh, a Virginia. Uh, that one I think is called Cherry Red. There's another little Black Mammoth. Probably my favorite tobacco. That's the one I'm the most, uh, that I wanna grow, that I care about the most. It makes a great wrapper cigar leaf. There's another Black Mammoth. And then right there, um, I think that is a Criollo plant. I'll have to check the label. That one's really getting big. I got a. I've got to plant that in the ground soon, or else it's going to be stunted. These ones will probably stay in the pots. And that one's another Criollo. That's a Cuban Criollo. Another Black Mammoth. That one was, all it was was one torn leaf. It was beat up when I first uh, planted it outside, but it's caught up real quick. And then there's another Criollo, uh, Cuban Criollo right there. So those are some of the plants that I have growing for this year. Not a, not a lot overall, but a couple different varieties that I wanted to try just to see which ones I like and then the ones that grow the best and that I like. Then next year I'll focus on those and grow a lot more and store them away and that'll be tobacco for me. So the one that I grew last year that I really liked was Black Mammoth and it cured super quick. I've got just a little bit of it left, but here's one of the leaves right here. Oh, it smells gorgeous. And all of it, that's about a year age on it, so from, from last year. And I just air cured it. There's no fermentation uh, at all, just whatever it's been aging in the bag. So great, great cigar to tobacco. I've rolled it. Uh, actually, I'm going to do a review of it soon, but I've smoked lots of it, rolling it up into little cigarillos. I've used it as a wrapper on some of my, uh, some of my other cigars that I make with, with some uh, bought in, uh, tobacco that I bought that I didn't grow myself and so this one's a keeper for sure and what's really cool about the black mammoth is I've never seen anybody use it for anything for cigars I know that online they say it's it's used for cigars and for for chew but I've never actually seen any um, commercial cigars that use it so it's kind of cool th knowing that you have a tobacco that you're growing that nobody else is really using but you really enjoy so then I got a bunch more uh, a lot of a lot of burley. So this is some of my burley from last year. Wow, smells really nice. I haven't really smoked much of this actually. Um, not sure why, but what I'm going to do is go through it and chop some of it up, and then I'll review that. And this also is just air cured. There's no fermentation. Um, I have smoked some in cigarettes that I made, that I rolled up, and I've smoked some in my pipe. And uh, the stuff that I've smoked, it was really really mild, believe it or not. But uh, that's probably because it's low on the plant and it's not the higher up on the plant the stronger it gets and then so i grew lots of burley i got lots of that so i didn't grow any this year and uh, i didn't really think it was that great um, i added some flavoring to it to make a sweet tobacco to make like a pipe tobacco and it was that good for that and then right here i got some havana that's some havana leaf right there and uh yeah i don't really i haven't really smoked much of that either so i'll have to roll some of that up and do a little review and uh See what, uh, see what we think of it. 
So anyway, that's basically what uh, what I've got going on, and I'm really looking forward to uh, air curing that, that that Cuban and Criollo tobacco and seeing how that turns out. I didn't grow any cigar tobacco last year except for the Havana, so, and uh, I wasn't too impressed with it when I first tried it, but I haven't tried it since, so maybe it's better since it's aged. I found it kind of harsh, but definitely the Black Mammoth is a keeper. Okay, well, uh, I'll leave it at that, and I'll see you guys uh, on my next video. So everyone take care.